The preliminary inquiry shall now begin. I am an agent working for Representative Helmer of the Second Milshin Parliament. He's also with us. We can go into detail later, but for now I'll just debrief you on the current situation. You are presently under the custody of the Federation government and the military. I'll be honest with you. The way things are now, within a few hours, she'll be turned over to anti-Milshin forces, specifically the UTIC organization. Soon after, the second Milshin government will be stripped of all its authority. At this moment, Representative Helmer is working with the leaders of the Milshin parliament to buy us additional time. However, our opponent's skillful manipulation requires us to find concrete proof of your innocence. But how? That's the question. We need something that would give conclusive evidence of your innocence. Conclusive evidence? What about the Woglinde's black box? We've already recovered that. Unfortunately, sometime after the final gate out, it was modified to be exactly the same as the video recording down to the time access. Not to mention, I shot up the database on that UTIC battleship. What about the Durandal's database? A record of the battle against the UTIC should still be there. Can't we use that to prove our innocence? Is that a standard database? Yeah. Ah. Uh, is that a problem? Yes. Standard databases are too easily modified. I'm not certain how reliable they would be as evidence. If we had something that even the owner couldn't change, say, a system with a AAA class encryption, then maybe... What? AAA? You don't find systems with that kind of protection just lying around? For something like that, you need the Federation government's mother frame or the UMN operating system. We... what? We have one. Oh, Cosmos. Cosmos? Yes. Cosmos database has a recording of the battle against the Gnosis on board the Woglinde. If we enter that as evidence... Yeah, but in order to copy the record, we need the keys from both the Federation government and headquarters. By diving into the Encephalon and experiencing the record ourselves, we can make a copy through the connection gear. Uh, but that's impossible without the dive equipment. How about the service module simple dive unit? You've got to be kidding. Besides, that's a violation of protocol. We don't have any other choice, do we? Oh, I am so sick and tired of protocol. But... The real question is, how do we get to Cosmos? That'll open any locked doors you come across. I'll just say that we were careless. But to make it look legitimate, you'll need to knock me out. You sure? Otherwise, no one would believe it, right? You have a point. Go easy on me, okay? 